that a pretty good surprise, Abby? Well, he spent the last year overseas serving our country, but tonight one local soldier is finally home. WECT's Amanda Weston caught up with him for a very special reunion. Amanda, a bit of surprise for his family, right? Absolutely. This soldier's fiance had no idea the two of them would be together this soon, and just seeing her reaction was incredible. Go ahead and take a look. PFC Connor Wilson has just arrived home from a year-long deployment to Japan. We don't get to share the experiences that any other couples usually do, but we make the most out of what we can. His fiance, Kaylee Westcott, has just arrived for a JROTC award ceremony. She thinks Connor won't be home for another week, when really, he's just outside the door. I'm feeling pretty anxious. I've been waiting for this for quite a long time now. Either she's going to attack me or she's going to freeze. So what do you think you're going to do when you see her? Hopefully not break down. Attention on deck! <laughs> when he first came in through the door, I, it was a split second of what's going on, and then I realized it was him, and I just, I just took off. Even though that he was halfway across the world, it was worth it. It was worth the wait. I was excited, and I was just... I don't know, there's a lot of emotions going on at once, but the most was, I'm happy that he's home, that he's finally home. And Connor and Kaylee say they look forward to spending a lot of time together now that Connor's finally home. Reporting live in the studio, Amanda Weston, WECT News. We'll be right back after this. Five-year-old Braden LeMay looks a little bored as Snow Hill Elementary honored local first responders like CPD's hero officer Dennis Pedigo from the 716 terror attack. But little did Braden know that the function's closing had his name and his dad's written all over it. Petty officer first class, Timothy LeMay, U.S. Navy, father of Braden LeMay. And when Braden saw his father for the first time in months, nature takes its course to a joyous reunion. 
The last two years, I, I've got to come home every three or four months, and that's been as much contact as we've been able to have. It's, it's been hard. Timothy says missing the first day of school, t-ball games, and everything else that's important in the world of a five-year-old hasn't been easy, but that he's going to make as much of their father and son time together as humanly possible. When she, she looked and she saw When she sees you she coming waited. in the house, she wants you to get she behind the fence. Yeah, no, no. That's the translation. Hey, John, I mean you too. What? Oh. You don't want to go over there now. She's going to see you. Oh, that's the whole thing. She's going to see your big butt first. Yeah. 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 It's a squeaking. She's a, oh, it's a rocking chair? Oh, a rock. <laughs> okay, Austin. Portia, sick him. Sick him. He's being bad. Where's those? Never mind, I figured out who it was. <laughs> Don't think it was Kim. Here. Is that cousin Lauren? Cousin Lauren. You are being filmed. Who is that? She didn't even get that. I tried to hug her and I said, I can't get to you. <laughs> Why couldn't you get to her? Oh. Her belly and my belly. <laughs> There's so much stuff. You live like a dad burn woman. <laughs> there you is. Hello. He wants to know. Look at oh. you. Oh. It is so nice to see you, Lori. We missed you, you so dog. much. I shaved her. That's we missed bad. you, Lori. Look at you. Don't take pictures of me. But why not? But this you look beautiful. Look we'll back over here and say it. You look absolutely like beautiful. Like Last time I came down at five, it took me two hours. You got here pretty quick. Good yeah. to see you. Yeah, she's going to come that way from now on. You like every pregnant woman wants to hear that. Well, say hi to Mark. I said hi to Mark. I see Mark all the time. That's right. Vicky and Grandpa canceled on us last time. I know. It was too rainy. What about your dog? Like your haircut? No. Yeah, Can I go get a hug? <laughs> oh my God. Can I go get a hug? <laughs> 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 so much for us. Bye. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs>
Now you know who first you is. Are you okay? <laughs> Surprise! Oh, she's mad. <laughs> you better introduce him to yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's Adrian. You probably already know but that. But why did you do this to me? Because surprise. Surprises are good things. Yeah, we planned this anyway. You didn't think we'd keep you secret, did you? <laughs> How long did you plan this? Uh, oh, ever since we planned it? <laughs> four months ago. Really? Mm -hmm. oh. You guys all knew about it? Yeah. This is about the first of the year. You like never got you out here. I was like, good lord. I know. Looking at the car, looking at the... You went, you're like, whose purse is that? And I'm like, oh, and you're like, yours? And I'm like, maybe. And you're like, yeah, right. I know. I'm kind of like, whose purse is that? I know. Like, well, she said, well, she said, should we hide it? The same thing is, she said, should we hide it? Mom said, no, don't when worry about it. When did you guys get down here? Last awesome. there this morning. Five o'clock. When are you going back? Tuesday. Was it a surprise? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think I'd see him till December. <laughs> She's checking you out. <laughs> All the pictures, he looked more. Oh! <laughs> Tom, it's just fat. It's fat. Well, look at her. You should have saw me in his pen station today. Oh, you got pen station. Do you have pen station in Florida? No. The dog would get. Eight-year-old Braden Butler is the proud son of a soldier. Today, he gave a presentation to his third grade class at Honeyoy Central School, a lesson about his dad's job in the Army. What Braden didn't know was dad was just outside his classroom door. As Braden wrapped up, Dad walked in. Daddy! The surprises weren't over. We walked down the hallway to find Braden's six-year-old sister, Addison. Daddy! <laughs> That's Staff Sergeant Andrew Jenkins. He actually came home from his assignment in Georgia on Friday, but then said goodbye to his kids this morning before they went to school. Here's the surprise. After four deployments to the Middle East in his 14 years of service, the soldier has actually decided to retire, so he showed up at his kid's school today to break the news. I love you so much. Love you. From there... Didn't see that coming, did you? This trio headed to Haley to pick up four and five. It's good news, isn't it? No more goodbyes, only hellos. Love you. Down the hallway, this group to complete their family. <laughs> After so many goodbyes, it's these hellos that open up a world of firsts. covered many stories of our men and women in uniform returning home to a hero's welcome. Today we're showing you a touching story, one Marine who hasn't seen his sister in two years. News Channel 5's Gabrielle Sharon was there for the big surprise. 
It was a typical Tuesday for 16 year old Amanda Lynn Christian in her junior ROTC class. Until an unexpected visitor showed up at the door. And Mandolin's older brother, Marine Corporal William Christian, friends call him Tyler. They haven't seen each other since he left for a naval base in Arizona before Christmas 2013. I was like, is that Tyler? Because it's been so long since two years. So I was like, it's Tyler. And I was like, okay, whatever. I'm just going to get out of my chair now. I was kind of shaking a little bit going in there. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty exciting to hear. Their mom contacted the school to arrange the surprise. Now this is happening. I thought it was coming in Friday, so. Amanda Lynn aspires to be an orthopedic surgeon. She says Tyler's more than her big brother. He's her inspiration. Taught me to be more dedicated to what I really want to be and just do what I have to do to, to be something, someone. In Palm Beach Gardens, Gabrielle Saran, WPTV, News Channel 5. And our tie to the Military Connection Education Coalition. And last but not least is I want to thank the military children that are here today. Your family members are the ones that get the recognition that serve and deploy are there for the state disasters and yet you serve right along with your family members. I can relate. My wife and I who have both served over 60 years have a junior and a senior in high school and they also a military child. Uh, uh, children that have grown up in a house of two serving uh, service members, so uh, it's not easy. It's not always fair, but thank you for your support and the love that you give to your service members, and thank you for the sacrifice that you have given for our country. And so I have another award that, that I would like to, uh, to end with today, and, and kind of a surprise here. And so if I could ask Samantha to come back up here, please. So, so what I have here is a, is a what we call a commander's coin, and for those in the military wearing uniforms, you know that this coin doesn't represent much. In fact, you can't buy much with this coin. But what this coin represents for my office is for excellence, and so I want to provide you with this excellence in in your efforts to be a great military child, but more important. Uh, support for your father and for your mother and as all the four deployments that you've had with your father. So on behalf of my office, I just would like to present you with my coin and to say thank you again for all that you do. Thank you very much. And so uh, we also have one more surprise. And if I would ask uh, the sergeant there to turn around, please. <laughs> So you wonder who this is Samantha's father who just returned from Afghan or excuse me from Iraq. Doesn't get any better than that, does it? Between the second table, everything's towards the middle. Nope, just walk this way.